Hey guys, this is Matt Core from controlpaint.com, and today we're going to talk about the big question, inspiration. I can guarantee at one point in the past, you've looked at a blank canvas and said, Ugh, what do I draw? I have no inspiration today. Well, this is a problem that I deal with and every artist deals with. But the trick to not being paralyzed by this, I think, is to not think of it in terms of inspiration. I like to think of it in terms of goals. As long as you have something that you're working towards, there's always something to draw. So let's say you want to do fantasy illustration. Well, break it down. What does that involve? It involves characters. It involves backgrounds with perspective. Or maybe creature designs. Well, what are you weakest at? Maybe it's anatomy. Okay, so now you've got a goal, and you've got specific, small steps to get there. Maybe if you sat down to paint a giant fantasy opus today, it wouldn't turn out very well. Maybe you've only got an hour to work. Well, that doesn't mean that you can't work towards the fantasy painting. So spend an hour working on hands, maybe necks, some tiny part of anatomy. Break it down. Because you can always take a big goal and turn it into bite-sized chunks. And then when you sit down for an hour, you have no excuse. You can't say, what should I draw? Pull out the list. Because look, a white canvas is scary. Eventually, if you're a professional, you'll never have to worry about what to draw because a boss will be telling you. But when you're working on personal studies, it's up to you to make the list. So a white canvas is scary, but a white canvas next to a to-do list, well, that's less scary. So don't worry about being inspired. Just worry about staying on task. Little pieces, and you'll get there eventually. Have fun, guys. Thanks for watching.